Advocacy groups are urging the government to implement a comprehensive strategy for girls' education in Kaduna communities, recognizing its crucial role in the state's growth and development. The non-governmental organizations and civic societies have deployed 10 trained advocates across local government areas to champion girls' education. However, challenges such as poverty, insecurity and inadequate infrastructure continue to undermine educational access and outcomes. Women to be champions of um, girls' education. I mean, champions of community needs generally, but in participatory research in communities, they've been conducting dialogues in communities around girls' education, and then they've been creating uh, media tools around barriers to girls' education in the in in the hopes of using this um, to advocate for. Um, girls' education, the specific needs in all the communities that they have visited. And I also want the state government to also take special care in doing needs assessment in terms of barriers to girls' education in Kaduna State. In fact, barriers to get education generally so that each community has, you know, acts has an improvement on what is affecting their education, be it schools, teachers, empowering teachers, building capacity of teachers, or even if it's um, poverty elevation for parents so that they can afford to pay. Advocates visited Sabon Tesha and Chikun and Leary, revealing that girls face significant challenges such as long distances for water and deployable road before going to school community which is under Kubau local government and one of the challenges these kids are facing regarding access to quality education are the issues of long distance from their homes to their nearest secondary school the school they have issues the girls are having issues with insecurity whereby when they're on their on their way to school sometimes they generally get harassed by some men by bad toilets they don't have enough classrooms there are no enough reading materials and many more and also the one of their major major issues is the issue of poverty the people of, of Bogau community are usually uh, mostly low-income communities. So sometimes for them to be able to afford the money that they use to buy a uh, uniform for their kids to wear and go to school, it's an issue for them. Education has become an option for them rather than a priority. Because sometimes they have to measure and weigh balance to see which one is more better for them. To, is it to cater for the kids or to send them to school to give them money to go to school? One of their major problems is bad road and no water supply. They have really bad roads, especially inside Sabontasha. Their roads are very, very bad. So before children will get up and then they bath all clean and on their way to school, they get dirty or they go late because probably they got dirty on the way and they are trying to clean up before they will go to school. They're already late and some of them are being asked to go back home or they are being punished for that, for being dirty. And that's because of the bad road. Some of them even allow their children to pick mats or chairs from home because there are not enough chairs, especially in their primary school. They do that so that their children will be able to learn comfortably. Governments really come to those areas and see how poor those schools, the government schools in that area are. They should see how poor it is and they should look into the limitations, the things that are causing limitations to girl education. They should look into it and they should work towards promoting girl education. The group urged the government and stakeholders to prioritize girl-child education by providing infrastructure, teaching aid, and qualified teachers to local schools. There is a way the, commun um, the government can at least fix, starting from fixing the bad road, which they complain is affecting their water issue. Maybe the kids wouldn't have to wake up in the morning and start fetching water before going to school where they will lose three hours, two to three hours of their time. So going straight to school without the worry of wake, waking up in the morning to go and fetch water is something that would help the community and then also the school, if the school will be fenced. My message to the government and the stakeholders is to ensure they provide or allocate running costs to these schools and to ensure that it is managed and appropriate, it is managed without being misappropriated. Like let them ensure that these schools get running costs to run themselves so that they don't have to tax the parents to give the children money for little things like exercise book and maintenance of the school. Let this Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.